Born in America. Welcome to the first episode of Kill Diabetes Today. I am your host, Dr. P. I started this project, Kill Diabetes Today, a few months ago because I want to help people realize that this deadly condition can actually be reversed. First, some details about myself. I have a PhD in chemistry from University of Colorado, Boulder. I'm a husband and a father, and I'm a veteran teacher of 26 years. I was diagnosed with prediabetes on January 23rd in 2019. If you're here right now watching this, you're probably watching it for the same reason over the last few months that I was really struggling to find an answer to this because I wanted to know, since this is a metabolic disease, how I could reverse the conditions. First, let's talk about some statistics very quickly. Over 50% of the adults in the U.S. are either pre-diabetic or full-blown type 2 diabetes. There's over 30 million of us out there right now. That actual number is probably higher though, because as I've learned over the last few months, there are lots of different glucotypes, meaning that we, we all uh, share different kinds of genetics. And current testing, like when you go to the doctor and you have your blood work done, can miss some of us. So the actual numbers of people with prediabetes that leads to type 2 diabetes is actually probably larger. Of the total number of us that are pre-diabetic or type 2 diabetes, 80% of us are overweight or obese, and approximately 19% of us are of normal weight. There's a wide range of body types that are involved in this, uh, basically this epidemic. The average cost that a type 2 diabetic, uh, diabetic person uh, has to deal with each each year is um, of over thirteen thousand seven hundred dollars. There, there's no night when I'm watching the nightly news that we don't hear something about the high cost of insulin, and not only that, literally watch the amount of other drugs that are being marketed to deal with the side effects of type two diabetes. Type two diabetes is nowhere that any of us want to go and we need to know how we can reverse this deadly condition and that my friends is the purpose of this video I'm gonna tell you how this is done so stay with us now in the interest of brevity because when I was diagnosed with prediabetes I was looking around for an answer to this and I had a difficulty in finding my way to one. It took me approximately three weeks before I came upon the answers that I want to deliver to you today. So I'm not going to go on in this video about the literature and whatnot or try to educate you about carbohydrates and so on and I'm going to cut basically right to the chase. So a diagnosis of, of uh, pre-diabetes happens if you go to the doctor and you have your blood work done and it comes back where you have a fasting uh, glucose level of uh, a value that is a hundred between a hundred to say 125 which is outside the normal range and secondly if your a1c is 5.7 percent or greater your type 2 diabetic if the a1c I believe is 6.5% or greater, and if your blood sugar range is uh, greater than 125. So if you are diagnosed as a pre-diabetic or as having full-blown type 2 diabetes, what do you do about this? So I have developed what I call the GLOVE protocol. That's G-L-V-E, and I'll describe exactly what, the, what this acronym means uh, in a second. But I want the viewer to understand that in a two-month period, using the GLOVE protocol, I reduced my fasting uh, blood glucose from 109 to 
uh, 76 and I reduced my A1C to uh, 5.1% from 5.8% and I am no longer pre-diabetic at the time of uh, the filming of this uh, first episode. So the GLOVE protocol, what is it? All right, G stands for glucose uh, testing meter. The first thing that you need to do is buy a meter. The one that I bought is the Keto Moho. This is a reliable meter and there's an advantage to this meter because not only does it measure your blood glucose values and it's reliable, but it also measures blood ketones and I'm gonna come back to that uh, in a minute. What you need to do is to get a meter right away. You need to start testing your fasting glucose level. This is your blood glucose level first thing in the morning before you've eaten or before you've had anything to drink. You need to firstly confirm what the blood uh, results that the doctor uh, uh, delivered to you and figure out whether or not you actually have elevated levels. You can probably rely on their test, but you need to know yourself what your blood values are over a uh, several day uh, period, and you're probably gonna confirm exactly what the doctor found. Secondly, you need to measure your blood glucose levels one hour and two hours after meals. And the reason for this is because you need to see what your blood glucose is spiking to. Um, because if you're pre-diabetic or if you're full-blown type 2, you're probably going to be seeing uh, high levels based on your current uh, diet. You need to record this information in a log. So, firstly, we have G for glucose testing meter. Secondly, you need to get a logbook. And in the logbook, you're going to record precisely what your fasting glucose levels are you're going to record the one hour and two hour values after meals and you're also going to enter into this logbook everything else that has to do with your lifestyle okay what you had for breakfast for example uh, what your sleep pattern was whether or not you're getting up at night for example several times to urinate you're going to put everything in this logbook you don't want to hold back because Initially, what you want to achieve here is to have a solid record of your lifestyle, what you're eating, what your sleep patterns are, exercise patterns, whether you've gone for long drives, all of that kind of business needs to be in here. Third thing, the V stands for WWW Verta Health. You want to go to their website. I'll also provide that link in the comments below and at other locations throughout the video. And you want to read about uh, pre-diabetes and type 2 diabetes. This is the only organization that I know of in the United States that is providing a protocol, the ketogenic diet, which actually allows you to reverse type 2 diabetes. So go to Verta Health and read about their protocols and start a well-formulated ketogenic diet. This organization has a team of doctors and nutritionists and other individuals that, that offer actual experience and literature that you can read about in reversing this deadly uh, condition. The, the last part of the acronym is E, and that is for exercise. So right now, if you're spending less than 150 minutes a week exercising, then you need to start exercising. And your exercise program should be more than just going out for long walks in the evening after dinner. You're not elevating your cardiovascular system to a high enough, high enough level to achieve the kind of activation that you need in order to improve your situation. So along with going for walks, you need to have at least two or three days a week where you're doing what I call punching my ticket. You need to be elevating your respiration rate, for example, your effort above 65%. What I recommend is CrossFit. This is a community-driven program 
they have exercise protocols that involve multi-functional movement and for two or three days a week you're going to be elevating your cardiovascular system into the realm where you need to be to actually cause the change in your body that you're going to need to fight this deadly condition. So we have basically four things that need to be done. You need a glucose testing meter, G. You need a logbook. You need to write all this stuff in there. Uh, all the details and you need to be honest about it. There's going to be things that happen that you don't want to put in there like when you get a glucose blood a meter reading that it's extremely high it's going to be like God do I want that in my logbook? Yeah you need it in there and the reason that you do is after you go to Verta Health and you start a ketogenic diet you should see at least I did in my case um, a, a, a beginning of normalization of your blood glucose values literally within a few days and for me after two or three weeks on that that uh, nutritional protocol I saw a leveling of my glucose on blood values into the normal range all right and then when I had my a1c done I got amazing results I mean I was non uh, pre-diabetic uh, literally uh, after having my my uh, blood done 52 days after I started with their program on my own and lastly the exercise is super important you have to start exercising if you are currently not exercising I recommend CrossFit but that you don't have to do that you can do this on your own uh, simply by learning about for example Tabatas and learning about a few simple exercises that you can do like air squats the burpee for example there's a lot of things that you could do when you start to research this a little bit but but you can't get the results that I'm talking about without doing all four categories so once again get a, a, a testing meter and test your blood uh, get a logbook and write everything down and be willing to change your diet stop eating carbohydrates go to Verta Health and read about read about what they have on their website go to the primary literature I mean the stuff that's being published in the journal journals and yeah that's gonna be that's gonna be uh, painful to read that stuff but but because it's difficult reading but educate yourself and go on the ketogenic diet it works all right you can eat all you want and you're gonna see your blood glucose levels start to normalize literally in a, in a few days and lastly start to exercise one last thing about the ketogenic diet the way that you determine whether or not you're in mild ketosis is by measuring your blood uh, ketones which need to be between 0.5 millimolar and 3 millimolar on a daily basis and you're gonna want to test for the ketones at least in the beginning two or three times uh, each day again the way that you're gonna do that is with the keto moho meter because this meter not only tests for blood glucose but you'll also test for the ketones on the same meter that way you don't have to go out and buy two different meters and again this particular meter uh, gives uh, very reliable uh, results so this is dr. Pete and the name of my project is kill diabetes today I want to thank you for watching keep your eye out because after this episode which is meant to cut through the fog and give you a solution to this issue I will publish other videos that where we start to get into the details of why you need to restrict carbohydrates from your diet so again thank you for listening and watching and uh, and I'll see you again